Hello students, let's do profit, loss and discount exercise 10a. Page number 121, question 6. Oranges are bought at 5, 5 for 10 rupees and sold at 6 for 15 rupees. Find profit or loss as percent. Now first, when oranges are bought, that is the cost price. So this is the cost price of 5 oranges and sold at means selling price. Selling price of 6 oranges is 50. So first let's write down the cost price of 5 oranges that is 10 rupees. Now cost price of 5 is given here and selling price of 6 is given here. The numbers are different. So we have to find the cost price of 1 orange and the selling price of 1 orange. Then the numbers become the same and then we can proceed from there. So now we have cost price of 5 oranges Let's find the cost price of 10 of 1 orange. So for that we write 10 rupees divided by 5. 10 divided by 5 is 2. So since it's a cost price, it's 2 rupees. So the cost price of 1 orange is 2 rupees. So we found the cost price of 1 orange. Now the selling price of 6 oranges is given to us. That is 15 rupees. So here also we need to find the selling price of 1 orange. That will be 15 rupees divided by 6. Now let's divide 15 by 6 and see what we get. 6 twos are 12 minus 3. Now let's continue our division. Put a point, carry the point up. Now 0, bring the 0 down. It's 30. 6 fives are 30. 6 fives are 30 minus 0. So our division is over. So our quotient is 2.5. So let's write it here. Quotient is 2.5 and if you are writing it as rupees, it will be 2 rupees and 50 paisa. So we have found the selling price to be 2 rupees 50 paisa. So we have found the cost price of 1 orange is 2 rupees. The selling price of 1 orange is 2 rupees 50 paisa. So now both have become 1. Now let's look and see which is greater. This is it the cost price or the selling price? As you can see, selling price is greater than the cost price. So when selling price is greater than the cost price, there is a profit. So selling price is greater than the cost price. That means there is a profit. So now we need to find the profit. What is the profit? So to find the profit, we say selling price minus cost price. So how much is selling price? Selling price is rupees. 2 and 50 paisa minus the cost price which is 2 rupees and if you put it in the form of paisa rupees and paisa we write it like this 2 rupees 50 paisa minus 2 rupees is simply 50 paisa isn't it so rupees is 0 paisa column is 50 you can do this separate uh, subtraction here like this in case you're not very sure so here this is 0 5.0 so 0 0.5 and that's what I've written here. Rupee part is 0, the paisa part is 50. So now we know the profit, we can find the profit percent. And what is the profit percent? We learned this in the previous video. Profit percent is profit into 100 divided by cost price. So now let's write that. Profit is 0 0.5. 0 divided by cost price and cost price of 1 orange is 2 rupees into 100 percent. Okay. Now here let's do only this part 0 0.50 into 100. Let's do that part separately here. Now let me show you how to do that. Now if you have 0 0.50 into 100. Now this is multiplication of a decimal number by 100. When you multiply a decimal number by 100, count the zeros. There are two. That means this decimal point will move two places to the right. So 1, 2 and the point comes here. So what do we have now? 50.0. 50.0 or this is simply 50. So we finish doing this multiplication and here we got 50 divided by 2. We have 2 here in the denominator. I am writing that 2 here. Now 50 divided by 2 is 25 and since we are finding the person, the answer is 25%. So what have we found here? We have found the profit percent and that is 25%. Profit percent is 25%.
25%. That is our answer. Question 7. A certain number of articles are bought at 3 for 150 rupees and all of them are sold at 4 for 180 rupees. Find the loss or gain as percent. So bought means cost price, sold means selling price. So here three articles they've given us and here four articles. So since these numbers are different, we have to find the cost price of one article here and the selling price of one article here and then find the loss or the gain as percent. So let's begin by saying cost price of three articles given to us is 150 rupees. Now we must find the cost price of one article. So that will be 150 divided by 3. So when you divide 150 by 3, what do you get? 3 fives are 15 minus 0, 0 here. So we have 50. That means cost price of one article is 50 rupees. So we have found the cost price of one article. Similarly, we have to find the selling price of one article. But what is given to us? Selling price of four articles is given to us as 180 rupees. Now we have to find the selling price of one article. That will be 180 divided by 4. So let's do that division. So 180 divided by 4. Let's take 18 for 4s are 16 minus 2, 0, 4, 5s are 20 minus 0. So here we have found our quotient that's 45. That means selling price of one article is 45 rupees. So we have found the cost price of one article is 50 rupees. Selling price of one article is 45 rupees. Which is more? 50 is greater than 45. That means cost price is greater than selling price. Whenever cost price is greater than selling price, there is a loss. So cost price is greater, so there is a loss. And how much is the loss? Let's find out the loss first. So loss is cost price minus selling price. Cost price is 50 rupees and selling price is 45 rupees. So 50 minus 45 is 5. There is a loss of 5 rupees. Now we have to find the loss percent. So to find loss percent, the formula is Loss divided by cost price into 100%. So the loss is 5 rupees divided by the cost price of one article, which is 50 rupees. Now we multiply into 100%. So we can cancel 50 twos are 100 and 5 into 2. So 5 twos are 10. So here the loss percent is 10%. So what have we found here? We have found the loss percent and that we found out to be 10 percent. A vendor bought 120 sweets at 20 paisa each. This is, this is the cost of each sweet. So this is a cost price. In his house, 18 were consumed. They were eaten and he sold the remaining at 30 paisa each. So this is the selling price. Now we need to find if there was a loss, profit or a loss and then convert that to percent. So cost price of one sweet is given to us as 20 paise. Now let's find the cost price of 120 sweets because he bought 120. So that is 20 paise into 120 sweets. So let's multiply 12 into 2 first. 12 twos are 24 and then we have two zeros. So 2,400 paise. Let's convert that this to rupees. So when you convert paise to rupees, you divide by 100. So when you divide by 100, it's cancelled. So you just have 24. So that is 24 rupees. So this is 24 rupees. Now the question says 18 were consumed. So there were 120. From that we need to take away 18. So how many sweets were consumed? 18. So the remaining sweets, remaining will be 120 minus 18. So that is 120 minus 18, which is 102. So we have 102 sweets remaining. Now, remember, they were sold at 30 paise each. So selling price of one sweet is 30 paise. 
Now we need to find the selling price of 102 sweets because we have 102 remaining. So 102 sweets, the selling price will be 30 into 102. So that is 3060 paise. 3060 paise. Now we need to convert this to rupees and paise. So 3060 divided by 100. So division by 100, you can write it in the form of a decimal point. There are two zeros. So the point moves two places to the left and comes here. So that becomes 30 rupees, 60 paise. So let's write that. So this is 30 rupees and 60 paise. So now we have the cost price 24 rupees and selling price 30 rupees, 60 paise. So as you can see, selling price is greater than the cost price. So whenever selling price is greater, there is a profit. So let's write that. Selling price is greater than cost price, so there's a profit. Let's find what this profit is by subtracting these two. So, selling price is 30 rupees 60 paise minus cost price which is 24 rupees. So, let's subtract this 30.60 minus 24. Now, here make them like decimals by putting the zeros. Now, subtract 0, 6 point. Here they have to borrow. So 10 minus 4 is 6. So this is 6.60. So that means the profit here is 6.60. So now we can find the profit percent. Profit percent is profit divided by cost price into 100%. And profit is 6 rupees and 60 paisa divided by cost price which we found out to be 24 rupees and multiply this by 100%. Now here 6.60 is the decimal number. Now here we have a whole number. To make our working easier, we can convert this decimal number to a fraction. That is, if you have 6.60, I can write this in the form of a fraction by right taking off the decimal point and writing 660, but I should give it a denominator 1, followed by two zeros because there are two digits after the point. So this becomes 660 divided by 100. So let's write that. So let's remove this and write 660 divided by 100. So 660 divided by 100. We already have 24 down, isn't it? We just have to write it into 24. And then we multiply this whole thing by 100%. Now cancel zeros. I can cancel this 100 and this 100. Now I have 660 divided by 24. So when you divide 660 by 24, you get 27.5. 27.5 and since this is percent, we have to put a percent sign. So what have we found? We have found the profit percent and that is 27.5 percent. Question 9. The cost price of an article is 1200 rupees and the selling price is 5 by 4 times of its cost price. So first we have to find the selling price of the article. Because selling price is only told as 5 fourth times of its cost price but we are not told the price. So that is what we have to find out first. And then we need to see if there is a profit or a loss and find that person. So let's begin with the first part here. So cost price of an article is given to us. Now selling price of the article is 5 by 4 of cost price. So let's work that out. That means 5 by 4 into 1200. So here let's cancel. 4 threes are 12 and then add the two zeros. Now multiply. So 5 into 3. 5 into 3 is 15 and add the two zeros. So that's 1500. So now we have found the selling price and that is 1000. 500. So that's the first question. Find the selling price of the article. So this is the first answer. We have found the selling price. Now we've been asked to find the profit or a loss percent. So here we need to see whether there is a profit or a loss. Now cost price is 1200. Selling price is 1500. If the selling price is more than the cost price, there is a profit. So profit will be 
selling price minus cost price. Remember, if selling price is greater, there is a profit. So now we're going to find the profit. Selling price minus cost price. And selling price is 1,500 rupees and minus cost price, which is 1,200 rupees. So 1,500 minus 1,200 is 300 rupees. So the profit is 300 rupees. We have to answer question 2, which says, find the profit percent. So to find the profit percent, we say profit by cost price into 100%. What is the profit? 300 rupees. And what is the cost price of the article that's given to us in the question itself? 1,200 rupees divided by 1,200 into 100%. So here let's cancel. So two zeros I can cancel here. Two also. Now three fours are 12. Now 100 divided by 4. And 100 divided by 4 is 25. And this is percent. So what have we found out? We have found out the second part of the question. The second part of the question, we have been asked to find the profit percent. So profit percent is 25%. Question 10. The selling price of an article is given to us 1,200 and cost price is 5 by 4 times of its selling price. So there are two questions we need to answer. First, we need to find the cost price of the article. So what is given to us? The selling price of the article is given to us. And we are told that the cost price is 5 by 4 times of this price. So let's find that. So cost price will be 5 by 4 of the selling price is given to us in the question which is 5 by 4 into selling prices 1200 now let's cancel 4 threes are 12 and then two zeros let's add two zeros now multiply this 5 threes are 15 so here we have 1 5 and add the two zeros so we have found the cost price so this is the first answer We've been asked to find cost price and we have found it to be 1,500 rupees. Now let's go to the second part. Find the profit or the loss as percent. Cost price is 1,500. Selling price is 1,200. If the cost price is more than the selling price, that means there has been a loss. Cost price is greater than the selling price. There is a loss. And to find the loss, we have to subtract these two. So let's find the loss by subtracting. So cost price is 1,500 and selling price is 1,200. So let's subtract these two. So what do we have here? 1,500 minus 1,200 is 300. So the loss is 300. Now let's find the loss percent. Loss percent is loss, which is 300 rupees divided by the cost price which we found out to be 1500 and now we multiply by 100 percent so let's cancel i can cancel these two zeros and these two zeros i can cancel 3 and 15 3 fives are 15 i can cancel 5 and 100 5 into 20 is 100 so what do we have there we have 20%. So what have we found? We have found the loss percent. This is the second question that we have to find. The loss percent and that is 20%. So this is our final answer. So the first answer cost price is 1500. The second answer loss is the answer. Loss percent is 20%. So with this, we come to the end of this exercise. Thank you, children.